Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to quickly show you two new things that I just bought. Um, these are both from Rough and Tumble and yeah, I love them. So obviously, as you know, I have an obsession with Rough and Tumble right now. I had looked at their stuff for years, didn't buy one, blah, blah, blah. Now I own like five of their bags. But anyway, this is the most recent one that I got and this is called the 1903. And I got this one on sale, I think, it was 188 I believe. I don't remember, but I'll um, link it down below. And this is in black. Um, they also had it, I think they still had it in a dark brown, and they had it in the rustic eggplant. Now, <laughs> I was really between getting it in the black or getting it in the rustic eggplant, but I went with this one because I kept feeling the rustic eggplant one that I have in the um, small caddy clutch, and the leather just seemed like it would scratch a lot easier and I didn't know how this one felt um, so I went ahead and took a chance and got the black one and I'm really glad that I did because this is so soft okay so let me quickly show you what it looks like it um, has a crossbody adjustable strap so and you cannot take it off you can also not really attach another strap to it so um, yeah this one is just you know it stays on here and this is super comfortable this is the same pretty much the same strap that I got that um, I put on my Prunza Schooler uh, PS1 bag, so super comfortable. Um, this is also extremely light. I mean like extremely light. And um, I'm gonna show you what I put in it as well too. So anyway, it has a zipper pocket on the back right here. And inside the zipper pocket, it's really cool because it has another pocket. And this pocket fits my phone perfect. And I have the iPhone 7, not the Plus, just the regular. So it fits in there and that's how I was carrying that. And you can also put things here and this is the whole like depth of the back of the bag. So yeah, my phone goes in there. Um, the bottom of this I think is so cool because look, it says rough and tumble made in Maine. And that is just like a thing that they sewed on the bottom and it's just, I just think that's a really cool touch. Anyway, it closes with this um, button-like thing, I guess. I don't really know what you'd call this, but there are three different things. I guess it's if you had it more full, you could do it on the longer one. I don't know. I didn't really close it. I haven't really closed much since I've used it, but. Um, the inside is, I believe this is waxed canvas. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's waxed canvas, but it feels super nice. I'm gonna do the outside here first. There's another zip pocket and Inside here, I just have my pocket organizer, and um, the lining in here is the wax canvas, and then the other side is the raw leather, and you could put other stuff in here, clearly. I mean, it's a large pocket. Like, it's large, but I just have my pocket organizer in there. And then inside here, they have another um, pocket. Like, the whole inside is waxed canvas. And um, this pocket here closes with the same button-ish thing that you would close the whole bag with. And it's got, you know, leather right there. And it just has the one hole. Um, inside here is another one of those pockets. And in there I just put gum. And then inside this pocket is pretty large. And, you know, I've got two lip glosses, another lip gloss, my sunblock, hair dealy I put a pin over here on the side and that's pretty much it and I have been closing this with this right here just to keep it out of the way because if you don't close it it kind of gets in the way of everything else so anyway it also has you know just one giant pocket and inside here I've got another rough and tumble this is the card case my grocery cash as you all know I've said it many times my keys still use this amazing key fob. Um, I'll link their um, Instagram down below. It's all about Lewis by Abizia, I believe. I think that's how you say the name. Anyway, and then I have my Honest Hand Sanitizer. Okay, so that's pretty much all I've been carrying in here. I know, crazy for me, right? Um, but something else is kind of cool. There is a little pocket right here, and it's short. It only goes to about right there. So about halfway down the bag, let's see what it can hold. I think it holds, I had something in there earlier, I just can't remember what I had in there. Um, let's try this little EOS lip balm. So this would be like a regular lipstick. You can go down in there, perfect. So easy access to a lipstick. 
I thought it was for like a pen, but when I put my pen in there, it didn't, it was too big. So I would say not for a pen, more so for like a quick access to a lipstick. So as you can see, you can put way more in there. I did have my glasses in there, but I put them not in cases and I had my regular glasses right here. And then I just kind of threw my sunglasses down in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that looks like. And I love this. I've been using this the past few days. And then the other thing I got, I got this um, pouch and this is called the um, sunglasses case. And inside this, you can obviously put glasses or sunglasses, but it's super flimsy, so I don't feel like it's going to protect it. Anyway, I got this on sale too. I think it was 28 I think they're originally 46 or 48 something like that. Um, inside of this is just the raw leather, so the other side of the leather. And this, I haven't used it yet, but I love the color. I can't remember what it was called. It's some sort of shiny yellow thing, obviously. But, um... It can hold, I put some stuff in there, and it can hold clearly like a ton of stuff. So I was thinking I would use this as an additional catch-all um, inside my bags whenever I use it. You can see, there you go. You can see how soft it is. It's very flimsy and very soft, so it wouldn't really protect your glasses and stuff. It would protect them from getting scratched, but not so much protect it from getting broken. But it would make a perfect catch-all. So I can't wait to use this when I use a different bag. As you can see, it does fit in here, but it pretty much takes up the whole bag. But, yeah. So, I just wanted to quickly share these with you because I've been using this and I really loved it. Um, I took it to Cambria's outside soccer that she has this summer. And we didn't have anywhere to sit and we didn't bring any chairs because, of course, that's how we always are. We always forget to bring everything we need. But, um, I had this full like it is now, except I had a few extra things in it. And literally this is so light for being solid leather this is so light and it's smushy but it's just it smells amazing it feels amazing uh, and these straps are like the most comfortable straps ever so I highly recommend any bag from them as well as just buying additional straps I love my Proenza school or PS1 so much more now that I have the strap too so yeah if you have any questions or comments just Leave them down below and I will do my best to get back to you. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye!